Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Brad Sugden. This winter weather advisory for Eaton, Ingham, and Clinton counties is in effect until 11 a.m. We are having the snow coming down at a pretty heavy rate throughout the morning, going to cause that messy morning commute. But I think things by the afternoon and evening are really going to be improving for us. So we're going to reflect that here in our headlines. Snow moves in pretty much just through the morning. Once you get to 12 noon, it should start to move out for a lot of us. And again, it will be sticking to those roadways. Not much at all down to the south. So that would be Jackson, Hillsdale. But we are still going to watch it very closely. So notice these dark purples here indicating that snow coming down one to one and a half inches, maybe two inches per hour. So even if it only lasts an hour or two, that's where you get your two, three, four inches off to the north. Rain turning in down to the south. So after our quick hitting little snow that might coat the roads, it gets slushy, it rains, it warms up as we go throughout the day. Now on the back side of the system here, again, by 11 o'clock, pretty much moving out, maybe even just a little bit of rain on the back side. Strong northwest wind kicks in behind it, and that is going to be howling maybe up to about 40 miles per hour or so. So see these little streaks coming through here? Lake effect cloud cover because of that northwest wind matches up perfect with those little wind arrows. So as we head into Friday, a couple flurries are still possible, but we're not looking for a major lake effect event with this one, even though that could still be possible later in the season. We're just not looking at that right now. So this snowfall map, I think is going to be doing pretty well. We're talking an absolute mess of one to three inches around Lansing. Good luck measuring it. Some of it's going to melt the winds blowing kind of thing. So three to five is pretty much for the northern part of Clinton County, as well as Ionia over towards Shiawassee County. That is going to be a little further off to the north. So St. John's, I'd bet my money on more towards three to four, but you know, five isn't out of the realm of possibilities. It might just be a little bit further to your north, say by Ithaca, Elma, Mount Pleasant, areas like that. So we will briefly shoot up into the 40s once the snow leaves us or close to it. Then we get our colder temperatures. So again, not much snow left to the south at all, off to the north. Watch out for a little bit of refreezing where we are melting some of that. And you're just going to be left with like one to two inches of crunchy snow out there that turns icy. It's not going to be very good. Significantly cooler day for our Friday. <laughs> honestly, um, aside from January, one of the cooler days of the whole season. Honestly, we have not had many days below 30 degrees. That's for sure. So taking a look at our wind speeds into the afternoon, sustained up near 25 miles per hour, gusting to 40, 41. And really this little system is it. It's very compact. It's got a lot of energy in that little compact low pressure, and then it moves on. We will have some kind of Canadian winds coming out of the northwest beyond that. So a kind of a brief round of what it should be like in February, but it's very, very brief to say the least. So there's that cooler air really grazing us by that 32 degree line is the white line on your screen for you. So just so you can keep an eye on it, surge of warm air comes our way into next week. And we're talking downright spring like conditions yet again. I've already seen a lot of people send me pictures and messages of daffodils, tulips, Things starting to come out of the ground, and it's obviously very early for that to happen in Michigan. So, 39 degrees for the afternoon. Now, going forward, like I said, a little bit of what it should be like this time of the year. Temperatures generally in the lower 30s, overnight lows in the teens, and that's average. It looks cold, but that's average for this time of the year. As I step out of the way, you see the problem. Here's we're going 20 degrees above normal again. Average highs are 33 to 34, and that's where the overnight lows are. So we're about 20 degrees above where we should be for this time of the year, once again, into next week.